Hello everyone, it's Little Victory Sports Cards back again with my second PSA sub reveal. And this one is a really fun one. I was very pleased with the outcome of the grades. Um, but honestly, it's been a tough go for the past couple years of grades with the pandemic bulk subs. I The grades were terrible for the most part. And my gem rate was extremely low, 5 to 10%. And now with this value level, I've been seeing the grades get better and the turnaround time's been great. So I'm excited to show you this one. It's a 41 card lot and it's the $30 value submission level. And it took about two and a half months to get back. And I always do my pre-grade evaluations and out of the 41 cards, 22 were the same grades. And I can't believe this, 16 were above what I thought. So 16 up and only three down below the grades I thought. So let's get started. The first card is, that's a good looking card. It is a 2018 Panini Hoops Stephen Curry Silver, numbered out of 199. Has some good shine to it. And this one I pre-graded as a 10, and it got a 10. It looks solid all the way around. White borders on the back, which is good. I didn't have to worry about any chipping or anything there. That's the first card. Second card is the Ja Morant Green Prism Rookie. This one looked pretty good, and I... The pre-evaluation, I gave a 9, just because I was a little concerned about the centering. This card always seems to be a little off-center. But I think it was within the limits, and it got a 10. Alright, happy with that one. Next card is just the Jaw Base. This one, I I thought it would be a 10. And it got a 10. Yeah, centering was perfect. Nothing weird about it. Surface was perfect. No scratches. It's a good looking card. Next card was the Jaw Fast Break. This is a amazing looking card. It had no surface flaws, but my pre-val was a 9 because you can see the centering. It's always heavier on that that left side than the right and it got a nine yeah i'm okay with that i knew it was gonna be a nine there next card another anthony simons he was in my first sub video same card and these ones probably not too hard to grade you just gotta look at the centering of this border and the top border this one was within the limits and no surface scratches corners look good so I had it at a 10, and it got a 10. Like I said, I was very happy with the grades of these. You won't believe the the gem rate. It was like 75%. I've, I've never seen that. I got the grader on a good day. It was amazing. The stars aligned. Or the grader just got lucky the night before. I'll take it. I'm excited. So this one... I loved it. It was perfect. I mean, the centering is perfect. Not a flaw on it. I was debating whether to send it to Beckett and go for the pristine 10, but odds are I wouldn't get that. And then the 9.5 sells for substantially less than the gem 10. So I just sent to PSA and it got a 10. Yeah. Yeah, on these value orders, I thoroughly looked at each card. So maybe like three times i recommend looking at the cards at three separate occasions and uh just make sure they're worth grading and this one is a 2016 panini prism juan hernano gomez i uh like a lot of people i watched that movie hustle and i was impressed with his acting skills bo cruz so i bought some of his cards and this one just was perfect and nice so I graded it. I think it's numbered out of 49, blue, and I got a 10. Yeah, there he is. Next card, 
is a Marcus Smart Prism Silver Rookie 2014. Um, these cards had a few surface scratches. So my pre-grades were 9 on this one. And it got a 9, yeah. It's still very sharp corners. and I think he's one of the toughest players in the NBA. Good player to have on your team for sure. And this one is a Wiggins. I sent this one in. I don't know if it's worth sending for the $30 value charge, but he was doing well at the time. I mean, they did won the finals, so he had a good year. And so Wiggins, 2014 SP Variations version. It looked good. My pre-val was a 10, and it got a 10. Yeah, nothing wrong with that one. This is a fun card. It, I knew it was going to be hard to jam this card. It, I mean, kind of foil look, darker edges, but it's hard to find. These 2013 Fleer Retros, Star Rubies, Paul George, um, but it looked good. So I sent it in. I My pre-grade was a 9, but I was hoping for a 10. It had an outside chance, and it got a 9. Yeah, that's okay. I mean... As you can see, these these corners, yeah, I think camera's showing them. There, I mean, it was nice. It was a really good looking card. There it is, sixty-one out of one hundred and fifty. All right, next card. This one is a two thousand twelve um, Draymond Green, totally certified rookie roll call autograph rookie. Um, this one, pre-grade was a 9, just because it seems like PSA finds a lot of problems with potential autograph cards, um, but it got a 10. Yeah, corners look good, everything. There it is. Next card, I love this set, the silver prisms. Um, all those scratches must be on the case, don't worry. But my pre-grade was a 9 on this one, because it had a few light scratches on the surface. So, and it got a 9. Chris Mullen, 2012. Alright, this was, I think, my most disappointing one, or surprising. I thought this was a gem 10 for sure especially in this order with a lot of 10s given out this card was just immaculate i couldn't believe it when i got it i think i got it off ebay too and he had a good good season good postseason uh it's an orange refractor al horford 2017 i think they're numbered out of 199 and i pre-graded as a 10 i was confident and he got a nine Uh, yeah, it, uh, that's a card I'll probably keep. I probably won't sell this one eventually. I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer down there. That's interesting. I'd almost put him there. He had a good career. He's still going. Mm, he's borderline for sure. But I'll probably save it and regrade it at some point. Another Jay-Z. These got to be so easy to grade. Um, I had one in my last submission that got a 10, so we won't waste too much time here. Uh, 10. Pre-grades were 10 on these. They were just nice. Center perfect. And uh, another one. 10. Yeah. I'm happy with these for sure. I don't know what they sell for now. Definitely not like they used to. Maybe around 80 bucks. I'll have to look. Uh, this card is a elusive in a 10. It really is. So I collect this set and I have the whole set in a gem 10 except for one it's the tyson chandler refractor I, I cannot get that card in a 10 it always has surface scratches or off center and but this was the second hardest for me i just recently got it in a 10 a month ago and i sent another one in because i wasn't sure the other one was gonna gem and they both ended up jamming i couldn't believe it so i think it's a very low pop. I think there's about three, but 
there's also like 22 nines. And mainly that was me sending in probably 10 of these and they all got nines for the past couple years. But I finally got two tens and my set's almost complete. So if you have that Tyson Chandler PSA 10 for me, I mean, none exist, but hopefully in the future. Hit me up. All right. Next card. This is a fun one for 90s inserts fans. I Pre-grade was a 9. I, a lot can go wrong with this card, especially being in the 90s. It's a Rockstar Sean Kemp 1997 Topps Refractor version. I would love to own the Jordan version of this, but Sean Kemp, I'll take it. He was fun to watch. It got a 10. Yeah, I like it. I was worried about the edges. See those? Sometimes graders ding you for those. For With the die cuts, those are really common. Little ripples. But it worked out. All right, on to the next box. We are cruising through these. Now we're getting more football. 2020 Panini Mosaic, Tom Brady. Green Mosaic. Uh, this one looked great, no flaws. It was pack pulled by me, and it got a 10. Yeah, I liked it. You'll probably see a lot of Tom Brady's in this slot. Uh, 2020 Panini Prism Tom Brady. So these are, these 2020s are hard for me to grade. They're often off center and little surface factory flaws, but this one looked pretty good. I had a, actually had a nine pre-grade on it and it got a 10. So I'm happy with that. Very happy. Next card is a Justin Herbert. He started off the season strong. Uh, we knew he would. He's a good quarterback, great young quarterback. Um, this one had a pretty good of a 10. I, there was nothing wrong with it, honestly. It looked great. You can see the surface looks great. And it got a 9. I'm having a lot of trouble with these prisons, especially Herbert's. They get nines, so I'm just going to save them. I'm going to save all these nines, and hopefully one day, when his cards are really valuable, I'll regrade them all, and hopefully half will get tens. Next card, 2019, Tom Brady. Red, white, and blue prism. Uh, this one had a pre-grade of a nine, and it got a nine, so that one's right on. Next card it is a 2019 Laser Prism Tom Brady. This is a great looking card. I like it a lot. Um, Pre-grade was a 9, hoping for a 10. And it got a 10. Oh, these are great, great grades. Uh, next one, 2017 Panini Prism Tom Brady Silver. Uh, this one had a pre-grade of a 9, but it looked great. I'm pretty cautious on my pre-grades. Um, so they all have, most of my 9s have a chance at a 10, and this one got a 10. You get a good grader. That's, that's why I like splitting up my orders. I recommend instead of doing one big, like a 80-100 card lot order, sub-order, break it up, because... You may get a bad grader doing all of that 80 or 100. So I, I usually split up my orders. All right, this one's a 2016 Chris Jones. Oh, it's a collegiate prism, but it's gold, so it's got to be numbered out of 10. Um, this one I pre graded as a 9 because of the centering. Um, you see how it's a little thicker? That's a little thinner. I mean, it may be within, and it was. <laughs> I'm very happy with that one. He got a 10. He's had a great career. And he's still going strong. Alright, next card. 2016. Another really eye-appealing card. 2016 Tom Brady. Flash Prism. This one, I had a 10 on it, so there really must have been no flaws in this one. 10. 
Yeah, that was just a good looking card. I was buying all of his kind of prism variations on Com C uh, about a year or two ago. And I'd say, you know, 25% of them had a chance at grading. So I saved those and I graded them. And this is probably one of them. This is a Prism Collegiate Silver. They look good. I had a, I had a nine pre-grade and got a ten. Amazing. Uh, this one's an interesting one. Odell. Is he even gonna play this year? I didn't know he had much of a fall off. He did pretty well for the Rams last year. I don't know. Seems like someone could use him. I didn't like the autograph on it. I mean, it's, some's bold. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's faded. It's just kind of how it was. But I knocked it as pretty great as a nine just because I didn't like the autograph. But other than that, the car looked great. I guess PSA doesn't knock the autograph grade down from the actual car grade. So it got a 10. So I'm pleasantly surprised with that one. Next one, these ones are very hard to grade. It's a 2014 Topps Chrome Devontae Adams Refractor. Uh, he had a good game, lost last night, but, I mean, what a career. Um, this one always gets surface scratches, but look good. I had a pre-grade of a 9 on it because I was cautious about some surface stuff. But the way this sub's going, 10s. Next card. Devontae Adams, that just must be, don't worry, it's not on the card. It must be the surface touching the case. Um, but yeah, uh, Devontae Adams, orange refractor, 2014 rookie. I had a pre-grade of a 9, and I got a 10. Next card. Same year, 2014, Aaron Donald, refractor. I had a 9 on this, and it got a 10. I can't believe this. Trust me, this is shocking for the way my grades have been. The last two submissions, my last two values for submissions have been amazing. I'm very impressed. Or I just got lucky. Um, 2014 Tom Brady, red, white, and blue prism. Uh, this one had a pre-grade of a 9. It got a 9. Right on there. Just watch out for these corners. Next one. I'm a Mike Evans fan, so my last order had an autograph. Here's another one. Even though this is a leaf, it looked it looked nice. Very nice shine to it. Cool color. Um, I had a pre-grade of a, a 10, so I didn't see anything. And neither did they. Yeah, you can see how sharp it is. That's out of 50. Lightning fast. All right, this one was the worst grade in the order. My only eight um, is a 2008 Donner's Threads. It's the retail blue. It's numbered out of 350, Tom Brady. Um, this one, I think it's just tricky for people. Do you see the looks like white corners on the top? It's it's not. It's, they're not bent or anything or chipped. It's just the design. The end of that Patriots logo is right there. So I think that might have fooled the grader, and I get that. Or the centering. Maybe the centering is off. See, that's heavy on the left. But then, this is even. I don't know. Tricky card. Either way, I, it's sharp. I thought it would grade at least a 9. My free grade was a 9. It got an 8. So maybe just be a weird card. I don't know. Uh, next card, a 2005 Tom Brady first edition. This one had a little, see that corner pinch? And I pre-graded that as a nine because of the pinch. Otherwise it's perfect. It got a nine. Almost done. This one was a nice surprise. It's 2002 Tom Brady Drew Brees, two of the best quarterbacks of all time. TD Threats dual card. I think they made jersey swatches out of this card too, but this one doesn't have those. And I pre-graded as a 9. It was so sharp, but I was worried about the centering. I mean, if you can see, look how thin it is there and there. But I guess that doesn't matter on this card. 
it got a 10. Next card, always got to have some Tiger Woods in there. Um, I pre-graded these as, I think it's two of them, and nines. I was just cautious. This card is hard for me to grade for some, for some reason. Uh, this one got a nine. But they were the cleanest out of my collection. The next one got a ten. So nine and ten, I'll take it. Alright, now we're going to do a little baseball. I always have a couple baseball sprinkled in there. I don't do a lot of baseball. I'm terrible at prospecting baseball. Um, this is a 2018 Chronicles Otani. Uh, this one I had a pretty great of a 10. I mean, white borders, pretty easy. You can see how well centered it is. It got a 10. Alright, the next card is a 2014. This one's on card autograph. It's just a beautiful card. Look how I like his autograph a lot. Um, it's Bogarts. He has had a good career for the Red Sox. Uh, another solid season. Even though the team has underperformed a little bit. But he's a good player. And this one had a pre-grade of a 10. It was flawless. It really was. And he got a 10. All right, I think it's the last card. Last card will end with a Salvador Perez Refractor. Bowman Chrome, his rookie year, 2011. This one I thought was a 10. I would not have submitted this at value if, it, if I wasn't 100% sure. And it got a 10. It was a very nice card. He had a great year last year, struggling a little bit this year, but there you go. There you have it. Very impressed with that submission. I Trust me, I don't always get <laughs> submissions like that. That was a rare one. But um, please like this video, subscribe, and I should have, I have subs coming in weekly at this point. Uh, so keep checking back and you can, I'll probably list most of these cards I sell on eBay. It's little underscore victory. So little victories in the underscore right over there in the middle. Um, yeah, you'll see a lot of these cards for sale. I really appreciate you watching the video. Have a great day.